Welcome to Cruise Molding, the home of a fully functional virtual molding environment. This introductory module will help acclimate you to our virtual space and show you how to optimize your virtual reality experience. Our virtual building is designed in modular pieces, allowing for future expansion of the molding space for additional equipment and new virtual lessons. We have incorporated all natural lighting for a more comfortable work environment. Now that you have used your VR controls, you can begin your tour by walking over to the gallery window and looking into the molding room. From this point in the gallery, you can see our molding room that is equipped with high-tech molding and peripheral equipment. The machines are arranged in rows, which allows for adequate space and access for installing molds and maintaining the equipment. The supply lines are underground to prevent tripping hazards and allow for a safe work environment. The multi-purpose molding machines that you see can process any plastic material, ranging from thermoplastics and thermosets to rubber and LSR. The machine sizes range from 80 to 500 tons and can be supported by an overhead crane for installing molds and peripheral devices. The production hall has an abundance of natural light to allow for a relaxing and pleasing work environment. Now let's enter the molding room to explore the equipment in more details. You can walk through the molding room to experience the equipment and the molds that are currently running. This is a standard molding tool cart that a process engineer needs to set up and operate a molding machine. This is a good opportunity to open the cart and pick up the tools with your hand controls. You are now inside the molding room. As you walk around, you can observe how the machines operate. If you want to stop a machine, just push the stop button on the machine controller. Once it is stopped, you can open the safety gate and get a closer look at the mold. You are now in the warehouse of the cruise molding facility. Finished molded parts are transferred here for temporary storage until they are loaded and shipped out. The warehouse is outfitted with standard rack storage that can hold shipping pallets. This rack storage also allows for expansion flexibility. This is the material storage side of the molding facility. Here is where raw material Gaylords and 50-pound material bags are kept. Molds and peripheral devices that are not in use can be stored here as well. These large tanks on the side of the building are storage silos that hold large amounts of raw material. Some molds in this facility are high cavitation molds that run with a fast cycle and require high material throughput. The storage silos ensure enough material is available for uninterrupted production. The material silos are either filled by truck delivery or rail car. 